Does it hurt to compare prices at your local gas station and grocery store to those from just two years ago? Every month, we spend bigger parts of our paychecks on things like food and transportation, not to mention other bills. While various prices soar, people look for someone to blame. Many turn to the greed of corporate America, while others focus on the situation in Ukraine. The American left wage war on the cheap and reliable domestic fossil fuels, but fear nuclear energy, the only current and viable green alternative. European Union leaders laughed when Trump urged them to diversify. Now their countries are at the mercy of Gazprom. When inflation is hurting the voters, politicians are quick to pin it on foreign factors. Let's kill the myth that inflation is an imported problem. Take Bill, a farmer who wants to buy oil from Sergei. Bill is able to buy the oil because he sells soy to Hans. Hans, in turn, pays for the farmer's produce with his income from selling cars to Sergei. Consumer demand is born in the supply of goods. Oil may become more desirable as free markets pull countless people out of poverty, allowing them to trade in their bikes for automobiles. Oil may also become less available when pandemic restrictions disrupt the supply chains, or when a major exporter invades a neighbor and governments impose economic sanctions against the aggressor. Both events will make oil more expensive, decreasing Bill's standard of living. Sergei, however, can't cause inflation in Bill's country. If Bill spends more money on oil, he has less to spend on other goods. Those prices will drop. Inflation will start doing its dirty deeds only when Bill's government runs huge deficits, spending a ton of money legally counterfeited by their central bank. Inflation, stated Milton Friedman, is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. You see inflation as an increase in prices. Economists view it as a decrease in the purchasing power of your currency. Why is the price of Michigan tomatoes so high in June? Well, because the supply is low. Why do the same tomatoes cost less in August? Because the farmers bring more to the market. The same principle applies to money. More of it lowers its value in exchange. When inflation begins, some prices rise faster than others. Countless hours are wasted while consumers and producers gather information to economize. Some people get richer at the expense of others. Inflation tears the social fabric of society and imposes an unconstitutional tax on savings. Like heroin, it's addictive because we feel the pleasure before we suffer the pain. The worst cures for inflation are price controls and gradually slowing the increase in the quantity of money. The first one causes shortages. The second prolongs the suffering of the people. Ending inflation requires higher interest rates, which leads to a recession. The best way to get it done is by shock therapy. Entirely cut off the increasing supply of money. Knowing how painful these cures can be, the best thing to do is to ensure the inflationary process never begins in the first place.